Hi friends, welcome to Fun Learning. So we are gearing up for the Cyber Olympiads. Well, well in Fun Learning, we have a host of videos which run the preparation for maths as well as science for grade 1s and grade 2s. In this session, we are going to solve the 2016 SOF National Cyber Olympiad question paper and we are going to solve it in three parts. This video will have the first part where we look at the logical reasoning section. So let's get started. Start off with our Cyber Olympiad for Grade 2 which is a sample paper of 2016 and here we are going to focus on logical reasoning. This being the first part, let's start with our logical reasoning section. Our first question reads, the missing number in the given number pattern is, this is the number pattern and we have to find this missing number here. Is it option A 32? Is it option B 23? Is it option C 85? Or is it option D 15? I'll give you some time to think and solve this answer. Well, let's look at it together. Now, if you look at the first block 12, 42 and 54, we see the relationship is 12 plus 42 gives 54. Similarly, let's look at the second block. This also has the same relationship. That is the number on the arms 17 and 37 sum up to 54. Let's look at the arm to the north. Same thing 27 plus 27 is 54. Hence the last arm where the question mark is should be 31 plus question mark is equal to 54. Hence, the question mark is number 23. So, our answer is option B. Our next question is, Mohit needs to drive to town Y via town X for a business meeting. This is town Y and this is town X and this is Rohit's starting point. The given figure shows the routes that he can take. How many different ways are there for Mohit to go to town Y? Is it option A 16? Is it option B 30? Is it option C 20? Or is it option D 24? Why don't you try this out while I wait for you to get the right answer? Well, now let's look at it together. Now, if you notice, for every route from the starting point to town X, there are four different routes that go to town Y. So, it can go from this route to this route as one route, this route to this route as two route, this route to this route as three route. So, similarly, one route has five different routes to reach town Y. Hence, from the starting point to town X, there are four routes and from town X to town Y, there are five routes. And every route, hence, that means every route has five ways to reach town Y. That is why our solution would be 4 times 5, that is equal to 20, which is option C. Question number 3 is, there are dash number of sleeping lines, dash number of slanting lines, and dash number of standing lines in the given figure. Is it the option A 22, 16 and 20 which fill up the blanks? Is it option B that is 23 sleeping lines, 14 slanting lines and 19 standing lines? Is it option C 20 sleeping lines, 16 slanting lines and 18 standing lines? Or is it option D, 18 sleeping lines, 16 slanting lines and 20 standing lines. We have to count the, those line types from this figure and solve this. So your time starts now. Well, let's look at it together. Let me enlarge this figure. Now before solving it, if you look at the answer options, you notice that the first column of numbers, which is the number of sleeping lines, are all different. That means only one can be the correct one. So if we get the right sleeping line number, we can just choose that option. 
and a sleeping line is a horizontal line so let's start counting we have one sleeping line we have to count end to end in this case second sleeping line again end to end third sleeping line of this the slanting box in between and fourth sleeping line at the other slanting box next sleeping lines are the sleeping lines of the small boxes so i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 such sleeping lines so in all in this figure i have 12 sleeping lines now let's look at this figure here i have again eight sleeping lines so 12 plus 8 gives me 20 so and there is just one option with option 20 so that is my option c which is correct answer if you're unsure maybe you can count the number of standing lines to match whether this answer is the right answer our fourth question is latika is heavier than jia sanchi is lighter than amisha jia is heavier than amisha who is the lightest a is it latika b is it jia c is it sanchi or d is it amisha read it carefully and approach this well i hope you've solved this correctly because it's very important to read the question here so here let's do the first thing and the last sentence so here let's look at the first and last sentence which go in an order so latika is heavier than jia and jia is heavier than amisha so i have latika and jia and latika is heavier than jia continuing with it is jia is heavier than amisha so i get the relationship between three of these girls now let's read this the middle sentence which says sanchi is lighter than amisha so here i have amisha so sanchi is lighter than amisha that means she weighs less than amisha so we have our order and the lightest is sanchi next question if apple is called mango mango is called orange orange is called grapes and grapes is called strawberry then the king of fruits is tricky think of this answer is it option a mango is it option b apple is it option c orange or is it option d grapes your time starts now well let's start now it says king of fruits is mango this is universal but mango is called orange that is why the king of fruit is orange in this case that is our option c next question study the given picture carefully this is the picture here which letter is fourth to the left of the third letter from the right end read the sentence again and let us know if the answer is option a o is it b t is it option c a or is it option d l well read it carefully solve this and take your correct answer your time starts now well let's look at it so let's read from the last part which says it is at the right end so let's go back little bit third letter from the right end so from the right end 1 2 3 which is l and then let's go back a little bit further it is fourth to the left of the third which is 1 2 3 4 so from the third letter l i go back to the fourth letter to the left and our answer therefore is option c that is a i hope you've got this right our next question is 
If the time in given below clocks follow a certain pattern, then what will be the time on the last clock? We have to guess the time on this last clock. Is it option A 7:10? Is it option B 6:40? Is it option C 7? Or is it option D 5:20? Take your time for this time question. Well, now let's look at it together. Clearly, there's a pattern that we need to identify. So first, let's see the times on each of this clock. The first one is 5.30, next is 5.40, then it is 6, then it is 6.30 and we have to guess the time on the last clock. Now, if you observe carefully, there's a pattern from 5.30 to 5.40, 5.40 to 6 and 6 to 6.30. So if you notice, the interval is increasing by 10 minutes. First, it is an interval of 10 minutes. Then it becomes 20 minutes, which is 10 plus 10. Then it becomes 30 minutes, which is 20 plus 10. That means the fourth interval would be 40 minutes. From 6.30, if you add 40 minutes, the answer would be 7.10. So our correct option is option A, 7.10. Next question. Select the odd one out. Is it A, B, C or D? The time starts now. Well, this is an easy one. So I'm stopping the clock earlier. Yes, I hope you've got the right answer. It is option A, which is the raincoat because the other three are winter wear, the muffler, sweater and jacket and the raincoat is a rainy wear. So that's our correct one. Question 9. Raj planted a tree in his garden. This is the tree. Some apples fell down from the tree. Which of the following apples would have fallen from the tree? Is it option A, apple number 60? Is it option B, apple number 15? Is it option C, apple number 71? Or is it option D, apple number 53? Think, this is not a straight question but a good logic to be applied. So let's see if you can solve this in the given time that starts now. Well, I hope you've able to crack this. Now let's look at it together. Let's look at 60. Well, 60 is still on the tree. That means it has not fallen down. The next one is 15. 15 is also on the tree, so it's not fallen down. C is 71, which is also on the tree, and it has not fallen down. And D is 53, which is not on the tree, that means this has fallen down. So our correct option or the correct answer is option D. So let's look at our last question for this session. Rohit owns a farmhouse which has puppies as shown here. He makes five kennels for the puppies and kept equal number of puppies in each kennel. Hence, there will be dash puppies in each kennel. Is it option A5 or B4 or C10 or D6? Choose your correct answer and your time starts now. Well, let's see if we've got it. So the total number of puppies here are 20. And Rohit has made 5 kennels. So we need to divide 20 equally into 5 kennels. So 20 divided by 5, which gives us the answer 4, which is option B, which is our correct answer. So hope you were able to solve these tricky questions. Well, for more such questions, look out for our channel and also for the part 2 of this video, keep tuned, do subscribe so that you are able to get to the next part which will look at solving the computer and IT related questions of this question paper of 2016. So do like and subscribe to this channel and till we meet again, take care.